What's up besties, it's Ashley with AMC Hicks Studio. If you are anything like me, I have collected so many graphic sets over the last four years. Those freebies, those dollar events, I have an insane amount of amazing clip art, watercolor, so many cute things, but they're not all ready to cut. They're not all like, they don't have the nice clean lines around them. I could not just throw them into the Cricut and get them printed off and turn them into anything really, unless I wanted a headache. But I did some thinking and I have the perfect solution. I took the watercolor set that you see right there on screen and I turned them into this adorable little sticker set. And let me tell you, it was so easy. Stick around in this video. Yes, the pun was totally intended. That is the kind of video this is gonna be. Let's do this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to designbundles.net if that wasn't obvious. Uh, it is free. I just want to tell you that right now. This is a free set of clip art so you don't have to pay for anything. Go there. The link is going to be down there in the description so you can just kind of like click and grab it so you can follow along with me. We're going to learn this together. So once you've got it downloaded, it is going to look a little weird. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's going to look like this. It's going to be in a little zip thing. So let's click that zip. Now you can extract it in one of two ways. You can right click and hit extract two, or you can hit this up here. When you right click it and you extract it, or you know, hit that button, it's going to pull up another folder like this. Inside of this folder are the goodies. So like I said, we've got the ghosts, the pumpkins, the skeletons, bugs, candy. How freaking cute. Seriously, I absolutely love these things. I think that they're going to be super perfect to include in my kids' like little Halloween gift bags if they end up having a party this year. I'm just so excited. When you grab them, if you try to jump straight into Cricut, they're going to kind of look a little weird. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, I uploaded this set earlier. All of this black outline mess, the Cricut is going to try to cut that. It is going to tear up your sticker paper. I'm just, just gonna say that. You're gonna end up with a spicy disaster and you're not gonna love it. So let's eliminate that issue. We're gonna pop over to Canva. Canva is completely free if you were unaware. Where have you been? I absolutely love it. It's literally something I use every single day, multiple times a day. It is the best. Take a moment, appreciate the awesomeness that Canva is. We're going to go canva.com. We're gonna create a new thing. Now Cricut Design Space limits you to 6.75 by 9.25 for their print and cut settings. So we're gonna create our design based on that stuff. It's going to pop up a canvas and we're going to change this background color. Now you can do whatever you want. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but in my opinion, this gray color is going to give you the best results for what I'm about to show you. So select that and now we're going to upload all of our little design pieces in here. I uploaded mine earlier, but let me show you how you could do that. You can either drag and drop your guys and you can select multiple at a time to make this process a little bit easier. Or you can go here to upload the media, pop on over to your clip art set, and then upload it like this. Clearly, one of those is a better option, but I'll let you decide. <laughs> so once you get all those things up there, you're gonna start piecing the things together. Now to save time and frustration, I'm going to go ahead and pop up over to the set that I've already completed. So once you get done with everything, this is what it's gonna end up looking like. But in order to get those white background, let me show you really quick how easy this thing is. So I have this little ghost here with the white outline and then this little ghost with no white outline. In order to get this white outline, we're going to select our ghost. We're gonna go up to this edit image. I have been using this shadow thing for a minute, so it's going to pop up in my recently used, but if you haven't, just type in shadow and you'll see something like this. Now you might have to say uh, allow the 
app to process it just click that nothing bad is gonna happen I promise your computer's not gonna blow up so we're gonna select glow and it's gonna give us this like black shadow thing in the background we can edit this this is no big deal so in order to edit it we're gonna hit these little white buttons with like the little radio sliders and size I think four is perfect you can adjust it however you want but honestly I'm telling you four is perfect just just leave it like it is go to transparency we're going to bump that up to a hundred this is gonna make it to where it is a solid background we've still got the fuzziness but that's the blur so let's just take off that blur because we don't need it and we're gonna change the color from black to white that's giving us our white outline that we needed now the box I don't know if you caught that but it automatically sized it down which is fantastic because now we can move things around add additional pieces and get this page filled up to the best of our abilities i'm popping back over to where i have already done that on every single thing it, it is a process that takes a minute but once you get the hang of it is it's literally so easy and i do this i recommend this process of uploading into canva downloading it and then uploading to cricut design space to anyone that is creating stickers because this helps so much trust me once we get this all set up the way that we want it we're gonna go to download and we're gonna download our page make sure it's a png this is gonna give you the best results possible so we're gonna download our png now i already have this png downloaded about 500 times this is like the sixth time that i've recorded this video and every single time there's been some little mistake but it doesn't even matter because we're here together we're doing it again so we're gonna go to upload like I said, I've uploaded this thing a few times. So you're gonna find your image. I'm gonna go to my download section. We're going to upload our design. And here we go, we're gonna save it as a complex. Now, that gray background that I mentioned earlier, we're gonna take this little magic erase tool. Boom, it's gone. I'm telling you, this gives you the best results. You're gonna wanna pay attention to the little pieces here. Um, I didn't the first time and ended up with some like gray marks on my stickers. So I'm taking those out. We're going to hit that continue button. You can see the cut image, but let's save it as a print and cut. Name your sticker files, Halloween stickers, and save these keywords. I'm telling you, you're going to want this. And the reason being, you do not know what Saturday you, after six glasses of wine, is gonna try to search for when they go to look for these stickers. You just do not know. So save a few different tags, save a few different keywords. Just think about, you know, future you, after you've had some wine, <laughs> is gonna look for. Save it out, we're gonna upload it, and now we're going to select it from our gallery and pop it into Cricut Design Space. So it's it's here. Select it, insert your image. <laughs> I still have my image from earlier, but we're going to work with this bigger one. And I mentioned earlier about Cricut Design Space limiting you. That is what this little like caution symbol thing is. So we just change it to 9.25 and it's gonna automatically size the rest of it and it's gonna give us that crisp size the correct size so we've got it the size that we need and now i'm gonna hide this guy we're gonna hit make it now here's where it's important pay attention i'm just kidding the whole thing is important you know so the cricket is going to cut this out exactly as you see it here so when you go to load your mat later make sure you take a mental note of where everything is so you don't end up with some really funky cuts we're gonna send this to the printer. I've already got my stuff printed and cut a few times, so I'm gonna skip sending it to the printer, but I do want to show you something. Uh, I turn off the bleed, make sure you select your correct printer, and use your systems dialog box. You're gonna use your systems dialog box because you're gonna be able to tweak your settings a little bit. Now, select your printer again, do your preferences. I personally ended up using paper matte and I used a high standard like quality thing 
and then I printed it off. Depending on your printer, depending on your settings, things like that, you might end up with different results. The best thing about the sticker paper that I use is it's pretty cheap. I'm gonna link that down below too. It's the online sticker labels. You end up with like 100 sheets of it for, I think it was like 15 or 20 bucks. It, it's, it's not a lot, honestly. I found that that setting gave my printer the best results. And it, it might take you a couple of tries, but again, the, the paper is cheap. The stickers are cheap. So it's worth just toying with the different settings. You might also have to change the printer stuff and just pay attention to your pay attention to your printer. See if there's any on-screen prompts because mine also asked me to check the paper and stuff like that. So there was a couple things on the printer itself that I ended up having to do, as well as that printer preferences. Just be aware of your machine and what you're working with and print it out. Now I'm gonna hit this back button so that I can say that I've already got it printed. And we're gonna move on to the next steps. So the material base, I'm using Paper Plus. It's just because my machine, I've had it for like four years. So we've been through some things. And this, I always adjust it one dial up from what it says that it should be. But again, I've had it for four years. I kind of know what to expect from my machine. You might not need to do this. Paper could possibly be perfect for you. It's a part of that testing process and just understanding what your machine needs and what's gonna be best for the thing that you've got sitting at your house. For me, it was Paper Plus. Now I am using a brand new blade. Uh, like I said, me and machine's been together for four years. We've been through some things and he was still running on the same blade. So I changed my blade. I'm using Paper Plus. Load your design into your mat. Make sure that you're following that guide that I showed you earlier. Whatever is in the top left screen or board, make sure that you line that up. Our little house was up there. As far to the grid as you can get it, just just make sure you got it. We're gonna put it into the machine. You're gonna hit the little arrow. You're gonna follow the rest of these on-screen prompts. And after it goes through there, it's gonna come out. It's gonna be looking fierce on point and spooky. So spooky. Look at how cute these are, guys. I'm telling you, this has opened so many doors. I have collections of watercolors that I have purchased from the dollar events down to me just liking watercolors and downloading them because they're adorable and amazing and I just I have so much use for them now and I am so excited if you found this helpful you know give me the thumbs up down there hit subscribe ring the little bell so that you get notified when i upload stuff like this check out these amazing socials over here i hang out on facebook tiktok instagram pinterest again here let's build up this crafting community i am so thrilled to be here with you guys bye besties have a wonderful night